August 15th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Colossians chapter 3 from the New Testament. Therefore, if you have been raised with Christ, keep seeking the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Keep thinking about things above, not things on the earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you too will be revealed in glory with him. So put to death whatever in your nature belongs to the earth, sexual immorality, impurity, shameful passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming on the sons of disobedience. You also lived your lives in this way at one time, when you used to live among them. But now put off all such things as anger, rage, malice, slander, abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with its practices and have been clothed with the new man that is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of the one who created it. Here there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and in all. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with a heart of mercy kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If someone happens to have a complaint against anyone else, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also forgive others. And to all these virtues add love, which is the perfect bond. Let the peace of Christ be in control in your heart, for you were in fact called as one body to this peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and exhorting one another with all wisdom, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, all with grace in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be embittered against them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing in the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they will not become disheartened. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in every respect, not only when they are watching, like those who are strictly people-pleasers, but with a sincere heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you are doing, work at it with enthusiasm, as to the Lord and not for people. Because you know that you will receive your inheritance from the Lord as the reward. Serve the Lord Christ. For the one who does wrong will be repaid for his wrong. And there are no exceptions. God, sometimes we get so distracted by what is happening here on the earth. The worldly things. Not just the things that Paul mentions, uh, sexual immorality, impurity, shameful passions, evil desire, and greed, um, anger, rage, malice, slander. Not just those types of things that we know are wrong, but we get caught up in other things uh, that might not seem so obvious. Perhaps we roll our eyes every time that one person at work talks about their kids for one more time. Or perhaps we have somebody who is on Facebook and we don't delete them as a friend because we like the drama that they create and we like watching what they post and then we like fussing about it. Or perhaps we're caught up in a relationship that's gone bad and and one or both of us are causing problems for each other, just creating frustration and, and drama. And I know what it feels like when your heart is consumed, when something hasn't gone right or completely sideswipes you or just breaks your heart to a million pieces. I do know how easy it is for all of those shattered pieces to attach themselves to the earth, to become worldly things. And we become overwhelmed with grief or guilt or anger or frustration or jealousy so many different types of emotions and just like Paul urges the people he's writing these letters to not just this letter but all of the letters to go back to what they know of you to go back to what 
Christ is. And Christ is not the worldly things. Christ is above all those things. So remember, if you're a Christian, where you are going, that eternal life. And Paul talks about that a lot, to seek what is above, not the worldly things. And we see that with Paul as well. It's so rare for him to talk even of the worldly things. He's constantly thinking of of you, God, and how to be obedient to your will. And what does that path look like for other believers? And how can he be a true reflection of you? And yet we get caught up in what somebody said to us on Twitter or what somebody texts us or something we see on TV, inappropriate things. And they all become like idols to us. And I don't even want to say small idols or big idols because I'm pretty sure you're against any type of idols that there are out there. Even down to we watch TV and there's not a whole lot that's appropriate on TV. There's there's nothing that if you're sitting there right next to us, uh, you would be not only flipping the channels, but you'd be turning the TV off. Um, same thing on the internet. You know, I catch myself reading stuff that is very worldly. Um, very inappropriate and people are like oh that's just stuff on the internet that's not even the bad stuff on the internet but we are called to such a higher standard of how we should live our lives and we are called to live above all of these worldly things that people who do not have salvation uh, do not have a chance to not give into this is their nature as paul puts it so god help me keep my eyes off the inconsequential things the common things of this world, the things that seem to catch us up and distract us from what our true calling really is, and keep our eyes on the things above. As Paul says, that if you have been raised with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. So if we keep looking up towards you and keep following that path through faith and through through trust, We will not get caught up in all of these common things that happen here on earth. Help guide our steps, God, so that all of those idols, the idols of the TV, the idols of the internet, the idols of of sexual uh, immorality, uh, the idols of being angry at people, jealous of people, bullying people, that all of those are replaced with the things that Paul talks about. That we are to clothe ourselves, completely cover cover ourselves with a heart of mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. And he adds to all these virtues, add love, which is the perfect bond. God, help us to replace all of the worldly things that seem to consume our lives with you with reflections of you through your love, your mercy, your gentleness, your patience. Allow us to stop for a moment and really acknowledge if we're dealing with these situations in the way that you would find acceptable, or are we dealing with it with a worldly heart? I think our outlook on life would be a lot different if we were constantly focusing on our eternal life rather than the common sinful things the idols of this world. In your son's name I pray. Amen.